this next tutorial is going to be about lattices and how we can use them as a tool for helping us deform our objects. So, start with I'm going to add a cube and I am going to move it up a little bit and I am just going to subdivide it 10 times and I am going to Just select these outer edge loops just to create a sort of crate shape and I'm gonna invert that so I've got the inside ones selected and inset them just a bit and I am going to add on a bevel modifier Any doubles problems? Oh yes, I had doubles problems And up our segments so we've got a sort of smooth thing so what we can do is we can then use a lattice to deform this to get a more complex shape out of it. So we're going to add in a lattice, we're going to scale it up so it's just a little bit bigger than our cube and we're going to go, we're going to find the properties and we're going to add some say five cuts on each axis over here is usually a good starting point and then we are going to Anyway, I was just trying to do it the old way so instead of doing it what I was just trying to do I was trying to um, add the lattice with parenting method I think that is depreciated now that is how we used to do it and not how we do it now so we're going to add in a lattice modifier and we're going to select our lattice and then that should start deforming for us so the really good thing about this is we can um, if we go into wireframe, if we want to make a bulging crate, we can then make our crate bulge or warp inwards. And on every single point in this grid, we can go ahead and start making alterations, which can be a really, really quick way to add variation to your scene and add subtle curves to, um, to solid objects. It's a really useful thing and you should be using it. Thanks for watching.